Hi guys, so I wanted to <clears throat> go live and say that tomorrow is the midterms and I'm gonna be 30 in two days. Yeah, I know, not that interesting. So, um, <laughs> the day I was born, by the way, was the day that Bush got in office. Just saying. I was born on 1988, November 7th. But, um, so my birthday is going to be in two days. So, um, isn't it kind of weird how I got really into politics, um, and my birthday is always around election time? It's kind of crazy. But anyways, um, so I'm going to be 30, pretty fucking nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but I am. I get it. Anybody who's watching right now who's over 30 is going to say, shut the fuck up. Like, it's going to be like no change. It's going to be like any other day. I get that. I'm excited for it. But I'm nervous and I still want to cry. Why? Well, because there's no such thing as a time machine and I can't go back. And my whole being, if you know me and you know anything about my life and you know anything about the jobs I've done or the hair I even do or the clubs I used to work at and events I used to throw, then you know that like I've lived my whole life based on my whole like motto of being young, wild, and free. And so turning 30 is a really big deal to me and this is really fucking surreal and scary. But more importantly than my selfish ass, selfish ass is the midterms are coming up. Democrats are more desperate than ever. As you guys are seeing everywhere, they're crying about everything and trying to throw every Republican under the bus that they can. But just like all of their um, crazy, crazy things that they send me in the mail, hating each other and hating Dana Robacher and hating all the other Republicans, Mind you, they say, they send nothing saying what they stand up for or what they're about. They just send hate mail to my house and everybody else. And it's not just me, it's everybody. You get all the hate mail. They want you to vote for them because why? Not because of what they stand for or what they stand on or the ground that they stand on. They don't want you to vote for them because of the fact that they're so confident in their values. They want you to vote for them because they hate Dana Robacher. Because they hate each other. They send me all this hate mail. And then they want to go and say Republicans are against the environment. And we are not for environmental friendly things. This is one day in the mail. One day. One day. One day. One day. And the only positive one. How many trees did you kill, bitch? Like, talk about the environment. Y'all care about the environment. There's 400 units in my complex. 400 fucking units, bitch. And every one of us got all of these. Every one of us. You shut the fuck up about the environment, motherfucker. You should shut the fuck up, Democrat. Demo rat. Bitch, if you want to cry about the environment, maybe you should fucking stop killing all these motherfucking trees just to send me the fucking fact that you hate somebody. Post that shit on Facebook like a normal person. Don't send that shit to my motherfucking house. Stop killing motherfucking trees. And you guys are lucky Trump just signed that fucking oceanic motherfucking bill so this shit won't end up in the ocean. Thank you. Just saying. But... Enough of you guys hate mail. I would, like I said, put it on Facebook. Don't put it fucking on all of our fucking mailboxes. That's insane to me that you guys want to cry about the motherfucking environment, but then fucking go and do that shit. Like, makes zero sense. Now let's talk about this. So I posted something that came up in 2000 fucking 17, right? About Trump signing this bill about reversing Obama's rule to ban gun purchases for the mentally ill. So I was going to go into actually what the bill is about and all that kind of things because right now, of course, people are reposting it. Why? Because it's midterms and people are desperate. So Democrats are desperate as fuck. Before we go into anything else, I'm going to start this video like I do every single video for all you Democrats who are watching this right now. If your belief system is so fucking firm, if what you stand behind is so true and you're so confident with it, why don't you just bring that to the table? Just asking for a friend. Because if you fucking are so firm with your belief system like the Republicans are, why don't you just bring that to the battle? All we've brought is our values, what we think is correct, and what we believe in. All you guys have brought is hate, race baiting, sex discrimination, sexual orientation discrimination, excuses, lies. Because of you Democrats, we have things now that have to be fact-checked on Facebook. If you're so strong in your stance, why don't you just stand behind that? It's not strong enough? Mm, that's crazy. Anyways, so back to this. 
So Trump signs a bill reversing Obama's rule to ban gun purchases by the mentally ill. And as we all know, Snopes is very, very, very biased. They're very leftist, as you can tell, because this is supposed to be a fact-checking website. And a fact-checking website straight up says, ready for this? This is their quote from Snopes. While the law did not change who was required to be the subject of background checks. Oh, there's no law changed? Then what the fuck is this? What is this about? It is... It is true that Trump signed into law the repeal of a measure that would have plausibly, remember that word, that would have plausibly prevented certain classes of mentally ill people from purchasing firearms by allowing a new data source to be included, the system that runs those background checks. Oh, you had a typo there? Let's fix that for you. Mentally ill people from purchasing firearms by allowing a new data source to be included within the system that runs those background checks. You forgot a word there, Snopes. As such, we rank the claim mostly true. You're Snopes. You're a fact-checking site. Why are you going to use words like plausibly and mostly true? You won't even say possibly. You're not even saying Trump's bill will possibly put guns into the wrong hands. You're saying plausibly, plausibly. Well, did you know it's also plausible that we never went to the moon? Did you also know that it's plausible that the world might be just flat? These are plausibilities. That's the difference between plausibility and possibility, okay? Plausibility is so far from the truth, it's insane. So for a fact-checking site, Snopes, we get it. You guys have been outed so much for your biasness, but I'm gonna do it some more. For you to say mostly true as an answer to if this is a fact or not, mostly true is a good answer for a fact checking website. And the only basis you have is something that you say is plausibly going to prevent. Plausibly? Anyway, so like I said, that was back in 2017 that this post was out, but as you guys see, Democrats are posting it everywhere today because of the fact that midterms are tomorrow, and some people are too lazy to look at fucking dates. So we want to believe those things, because the headline reads like this from USA Today, which is a horrible place to get any facts from. USA Today, this is how they start the whole thing off. They've titled it like this. Trump signs bill reversing Obama rule to ban gun purchases by mentally ill. Okay, Snopes, let's just go off the, that one, like, title. That's false. That's false, that's false, that's false. Not mostly true or plausible. It's plausible that you guys are fucking all lying too. In fact, that's possible. Closer to the truth than plausible. Next, I want to get into the comment section. Jason Hahn. Hi, bitch. I hope you're watching, you fucking basic ass motherfucker. This boy, Jason Hahn. This boy, Jason Hahn. If you guys don't know who he is, go to my post. He's the first comment says... Wait for a bullet in your head, faggot. Ha! And then proceeds to use Pulse and posting all the victims of Pulse as a reason to why he hates Republicans. So, homeboy, if you're going to stick up for gay people, Jason Hahn, why are you going to call me a faggot to hurt my feelings? You're gay too, bitch. First of all. Second of all, how are you going to call it, say, wait for a bullet in your head, faggot? Using the word faggot as a derogatory term to put me down, to make me feel bad for being gay, which you're gay too. And then two seconds later, use pulse victims as your stance, saying that this Muslim was unhinged and should not have got a gun. What shouldn't have happened is Pulse, and you are right about that, the one thing we can agree on. But one thing you need to recognize, motherfucker, is your Democrats are the reason why all those people at Pulse died. Because your Democrats, when they were going to court and the FBI was investigating him before he did the killings, the Democrats said, we should not judge the fucking tape where he's admitting to wanting to kill these people because it was taken inside of a mosque. So that evidence was thrown out. The FBI, the FBI investigation ended. The motherfucker went and killed all these people. So before you use Pulse victims as an excuse against the Republican Party, fucking use it against the party who did it. Okay? And I'm sorry, I got serious about that, bitch, because this is something that makes me fucking emotional. Not the fact that you call me a faggot, but the fact that you use Pulse and post the pictures of the victims under a fucking comment that you said that I should be shot in the head and wait for my bullet and I'm a faggot. 
and then you're going to go and use Pulse and expect us to have sympathy for you? When you just threaten to do to me, the same thing that happened to all of them? Jason Hahn. And then it's even funnier, the very next fucking comment after you said, wait for a bullet in your head, faggot, you said, just waiting for conservatives to report me to the speech police. Five, four, three. The speech police came from the left, you idiot. Do you not see my videos, you dumb fuck? What you do? You watch all of them, bitch. You're our biggest fucking fan I've ever seen. And you see me get censored. Don't tell me the speech police is coming from the right, bitch. Do you say anything that's fucking accurate, Jason Hahn? Anything at all. And let's fucking be real, so you guys know who this motherfucker is before you vomit. His name is Jason Hahn, J-A-S-O-N-H-A-N-N. Those are some other facts, Jason Hahn. Come for me, bitch. No, I didn't block you, and no, I didn't stop you from fucking seeing this video, bitch. In fact, I commented underneath all that and said I'm going live right now, so I hope you're watching, fanboy. Which you probably are, bitch. Come for me. But how the fuck you gonna go and say, wait for a bullet in your head, faggot, First of all, you gay too, bitch. Like, and why are you gonna say faggot like it's a negative thing, bitch? I celebrate that I'm a faggot. I'm a faggot, bitch. I am a faggot. I hope you're complimenting me because that's what I took it as. But how are you gonna say, wait for a bullet in your head right before you go and say, this is why I say that Republicans are bad because of Pulse. Bitch! People who got bullets in their heads? So is it a bad thing to shoot people or a good thing? What do you want? What do you want? Now we're we gonna blame Republicans for all the things Democrats do still? I get it, you guys want to blame all of history on fucking Republicans, even though we never were prejudiced. We weren't for segregation. We weren't for women being fucking tied down. We weren't for gays having nothing. You were. But I get it, you want to throw it all on us. But Pulse, how dare you? How fucking dare you? When I bet every Republican out there was pissed the day that we found out that if you fucking record somebody speaking inside of a mosque, it can't be used as, as, as evidence. When I found that out that day, I was so livid. So livid. I couldn't fucking see straight that day. Because if it was a Christian pastor that did this, or it was talked about in a Christian church, we would have known about every sore, every score, every fucking DUI. We would have known about everything in that pastor's life. He would have been drugged through the media. But because it's a mosque, I don't think I have Islamophobia or whatever the fuck you guys want to call it. I think the people who made up that word are the people who have it. The people who are afraid to address the issues are people that are afraid of Islamophobia. You guys have Islamophobia. I'm gonna say it, bitch, he's a Muslim. It was talked about beforehand, before he did the murders, bitch, it was talked about in a fucking mosque. The FBI heard it, and that got thrown out as evidence because it couldn't be used in court because you motherfuckers said it was set inside of a church. All of a sudden you wanna respect religion, but then cry when he goes and kills everybody, and when he does and says what he's gonna fucking do. And then you're gonna comment to me and say, wait for a bullet in your head, faggot, and the reason why I hate Republicans is because of polls. Like, how do I even, like, how does one respond to that idiocracy? Like, if you are friends with Jason Hahn, you need to tell your friend, my fan, my number one fan, he comments on every single fucking thing because you guys haven't seen, you guys need to tell my fanboy, your friend, that shooting people is wrong. That judging people for their belief system being different than your own is wrong. Democrats, remember, that's what you used to stand up for. Oh, wait, you never did, but you always said you did. But you never did. But you always said you did. But you never did. Just saying. And for those of you out there watching this who still thinks Democrats are going to save your fucking lives by putting them back in the fucking house, tell me, what has Democrats done for you throughout history? Tell me one thing in history that Democrats have done for you. And don't fucking give me that gay marriage bullshit. Because the only fucking thing you guys have to stand on. And I get it. I'm gay. I see it. Cool. We can get married now. Under a president who also dropped more bombs in our nation's history, killed more people than we ever had before, sent home more illegals, not undocumented, but sent home more illegals in our nation's history more than any other president. Yeah, I will give up my marriage to stop all that hate, any day. But we can get married now. So that's the only thing the Democrats did for us. Cool. What have Democrats done for us? I'll wait. I wanna see one thing in the comments. One, come on, one of you, one of you. You guys, one of you guys can name one thing, come on. You know, people watching this thing got all the fucking night. Are your values that strong? Do any of you motherfuckers have any values at all? 
Can I at least get a fuck Trump? Can one of you guys just say fuck Trump? Because that's what you guys always say in the end of it. Can I get a fuck Trump? Somebody put fuck Trump, please. Please. Just, just put it for, to make me happy. Because that's all you guys ever got. Still nothing. That's crazy. But I'm not surprised. What I do urge all of you to do tomorrow, if you've never voted before, or if you're a person who says you vote and you don't vote, please vote tomorrow and vote. They say Medicare. I didn't, nobody, nobody comments on Medicare, but they say Medicare? That's cute. How? How do Democrats save you with Medicare? Obamacare? It meant a lot of people who couldn't afford health insurance had to pay for it. That's what that meant. For a, for a party who always claims that we're so broke, if the Democrats are so broke, why the fuck is your solution to tax people more? And if you hate Nazis and you hate all that hate, then why do you want to be socialist? Nazis were socialists. That was the whole point of their party. Like, I still ain't seen no motherfucking person up there. And there's 34 people watching right mother... 35 people watching right motherfucking now. Don't tell me not one of you guys are Democrats. Really? I have an all-Republican fucking viewing source. That's cute. I mean, I'll be happy with that. I'm, I'm cool. I'm cute. I'm cute. Like, let's do it, bitch. Let's do it, bitch. But we know Jason Hahn's watching. Jason, we know you're watching, bitch. We know you're watching. We know. We know. Because you fucking comment every single motherfucking video. Why are you going to be sick right now? Because I outed your ass for saying, wait for a bullet in your head, Chris? Because you want to kill me, bitch? Oh, wait, no, you didn't say Chris. You said, wait for a bullet in your head, faggot. But you say we shouldn't hate gay people. But you use the word faggot to put me down. That's weird. Just saying. I'm preaching to the choir. You are completely right. It makes me feel good to know that I have 40 people watching at this very moment and all 40 of you are all Republican. That's cute. Although I, I saw some drag queens up in there, bitch. I know you guys, I know my fucking enemies, my friends, my, my frenemies still watch me, bitch. Like, y'all still watching, y'all still watching. I see your faces up there, up at the top of the screen. It shows me your face. <laughs> if you're watching, bitch, I see ya, okay? I'm a Democrat, but I'm neutral and don't get into politics with people because my beliefs are my... You no, know, see, here's the sad part about that. Megan, I totally support you being a Democrat. I support bipartisanship. I support being able to think freely, obviously, clearly. But what I'm telling you is you should not have to be afraid to state your fucking opinion because you're afraid of being attacked. You're in a good place, baby. If you want to tell me some good democratic views that are not just fuck Trump and racism, then let's talk. I'm down to talk to a Democrat who really has a mind on their shoulder, really has a head on their shoulders. In fact, I want that more than anything. More than anything. I would love to have a really good, not debate, but discussion. I would really love that, you know? I would really love that because I think that if... The left and the right both have good points of views and good um, structural values. Then I think there's no reason why we can't come together. There's no reason why this country can't come together. There's no reason why we should be able to not support each other. We should be able to support it, you know? And I support you being Democrat all the way, Megan. I support it 100%. But I'm scared. Not because of these um, comments from Jason who tells me I'm going to be shot in the head because it's not the first time I've been told that. But I'm scared because of the Democratic Party, what they're doing. They're telling me, like one girl told me yesterday, she said, are you a racist Republican or are you a, are you a gay person? Pick a struggle. I said, girl, I celebrate being gay. It's not a struggle. I celebrate being a Republican. It's not a struggle. I'm not struggling. It's not hard. It's not bad. Why do the Democrats put down our ways of life? If you are black, that's not a struggle, baby. That's a beautiful thing. If you are gay, that's not a struggle, baby. That's a beautiful thing. If you're a woman, that is not a struggle, baby. That's a beautiful thing. Why do we have to look at everything so negative if we are Democrats? When I was a Democrat, why did I have to always think everybody was out to get me? If I, when I was a Democrat, why did I always have to think that my sexuality was used as a tool? Why are they still using my sexuality as a tool? I'm sorry that some people don't like my sexuality, but I'm not going to go and blame a party po politically about that. There's always going to be people who don't like you. Welcome to the earth. What I care about is the issues that are going to affect all of us as a whole. That means for the straight kids, the um, religious kids, the gay kids, the trans kids, the black kids, the Mexican kids, the white kids, the females, the males, all of us together. 
And when I thought about the issues on at a scale of that level, when I thought about how is it going to affect us the majority, yeah, not everybody's going to win every single time you have a new policy. Not everybody's always going to win. There's no way to make every single person win. But damn it, we have to have a system in place where we all at least have equal opportunity. And that does not come with equal outcome because that's impossible to have both. It's impossible. But you can have equal opportunity and that's what this country's founded on. And when I thought about it on that level, I found that my, my, um, my views aligned a lot more with Republican. Now again, I leave out the religious-based Republicans. No offense, I love you guys, you guys are awesome, but I personally am not one. And I don't base my political values based on a Bible, but I'm not against religious people. I think that everybody has the right to be religious, just like I have the right to be gay. If I want to live my gay lifestyle and I don't want to live in fear, then why would I ever dictate somebody else's lifestyle who wants to live fucking as a Christian or a Muslim or a fucking Catholic? It doesn't matter. It's none of my business. If I want to live my life without being dictated on, I have no room to dictate other people. No room. But where I will always out and I will dictate and I will scream about and I will throw a fit about and I will make noise about is when people are being wronged for no fucking reason. When somebody's telling you to trust them and you trust them with all your heart, like your leaders, and they use you as a casualty, as ammo, and they don't think twice about it. I do support you being a Democrat. I do. But I also support you being a woman. And from my view, I don't find that the Democrats stand up for you as a woman. I find that their excuse to stand up for you as a woman during the Kavanaugh hearing was bullshit when I saw a hundred women being arrested outside the Kavanaugh hearing, including Amy Schumer. And not one Democrat stuck up for those victims. They are victims. Those were real sexual assault victims who had proof, who went through their own court cases, who went through their own mental disorders, who went through their own divorces, who went through their own mental fucking strain because of what happened to them in their life. So strongly to where they felt the need to go and march outside the Kavanaugh hearing because they stood up for women that much because they know what it's like. Those women were arrested and nobody said a fucking word. I care about women. That hurt my feelings. I looked up different things that we could do. I looked up things online and said, what can we do to help these women to get them out of jail? Is there, is there a GoFundMe for their bailing out? Is there anything? There was nothing. And the Democratic leaders stood on that stage and said, we support all women as they stare at one woman, Ford. Right behind those leaders, like Kamala Harris, to Dianne Feinstein, was 100 women being marched and recorded to the jail. <laughs> yeah, they acted a little crazy outside the Kavanaugh hearing. What else are you gonna get when you tell people to go crazy on Republicans and then you tell them that your past sexual assault needs to be heard. Your past sexual assault is now being used as a political ploy. Of course, women are gonna get up in arms and they're gonna get mad. And people that have been sexually assaulted are gonna get angry. I don't blame any of them for acting crazy outside the Kavanaugh hearing. I don't blame any of them for hating Kavanaugh. I blame the leaders of the Democratic Party for making that happen. I blame the leaders of the Democratic Party for not standing behind women like they said they were going to. And then there's my sexuality. I'm told I'm turning my back on all gays if I'm a Republican. How? Because there's a small percentage of them that believe in God? That believe in God? There's probably the same amount percentage of the Democratic Party that believes in God. Why is it such an evil thing to be a Republican and believe in God, but not Democrat and believe in God? Yes, the Bible says I'm an abomination, and yes, people believe that, and they'll take it to the grave believing that. And I'm not hating on them for that. But I'm gay. And I'm Republican. It has nothing to do with the gay community has nothing to do with me and my thoughts on them. Has nothing to do with the way I feel about polls. Has nothing to do with the way I feel about gay problems, which I'm finding we have less and less of by the day. We have risen so far. We came here strongly. We marched. As gay people, we marched. We have pride because it started with Stonewall. It started with a fucking riot. We did this, not Democratic leaders. Nobody got us here but us. And I'm not going to let that be taken away from us by Democratic leaders who want to take the fucking glory and think that they got us here when they didn't. They didn't fight. We did. We're equal now. We can get married because we fought. We marched on fucking Capitol Hill and demanded that they listen to us. So they listened to us. I'm not giving them the credit for doing the work. Hell no. We made gay marriage legal. We did together. And that's the community I belong to. The gay community, the LGBT community. That doesn't mean lesbian, gay, but stop with the labeling. Stop with the separations. LGBT is a blanket statement. 
It means if you don't feel welcome where you are at, come on, we got you. That's what it always was about. So that's why I don't vote Democrat. And don't get me started on the way that they treat black people. Because black people are waking up on their own. Support went from 0.4% to 40%. That's crazy. And if the country's so low, if all of us minority groups are so low, how do we get this low? Who was our president for eight years straight? If they are such saviors, why are we so low? Shouldn't we be so high up there from a Democrat being in office for eight years that we should be so high up there that the Republicans can't touch us? Because Trump hasn't done anything negative to anybody. Trump's only made things better economically, made the structure tighter, made things more free, less government, giving the um, power back to Congress where it belongs. Trump hasn't really done that many negative things. So how do we get so low? Hmm. Who was our president before Trump? That's why I'm not Democrat. So the thing about all this is this. I'm not into labeling. I'm not into separating us. I believe all human beings are beautiful. I believe all human beings have a place on this planet. I believe that people, when they do wrong, there's consequences. When people do right, there's consequences. When people do great, there's consequences. We should not take the glory from the people who deserve it. We should not take the pain and put it on people that don't deserve it. We should not take people's life goals and life ambitions and life overcomings and life celebratory things like my sexuality and tell people that it's a struggle or that it's a negative thing. And then tell me, when I ask you, why do you think it's so negative? You tell me it's the Republicans who said so. Fuck you for that. Not you, personally, but fuck somebody for saying that. Because I'll tell you one thing, I believe that. I thought Republicans were evil, Christian, fucking Bible-thumping, tree-hugging, idiot motherfuckers. I thought they were horrible people until I got to join the party. I've been welcomed with such open arms. If you cannot see the comments section right now even, it's blowing up with love, like, love, dude. And somebody told me, wait for a bullet in your head, faggot, from the Democratic Party named Jason Hahn. You would think that Republicans would be like, oh, well, fuck him, and we'll come back and retaliate. They're not retaliating. They're telling me that it's okay, you're better than that. It's okay, we love you. It's okay, you don't need that. That's the Republican Party. They're not attacking him. They're, they recognize that that's wrong. But they're encouraging me to move past it, as opposed to helping me dwell on it by retaliation. And that's why I'm Republican. If you see any of the comments I've ever got from Republicans, like, in the beginning they were bad. I get it, they were bad, they were horrible. Why? Because of my look? Because of the way I look and the way I talk. But what I have got the opportunity to do is change the minds of so many Republicans out there who now support gay people, who now support me for my differences, who now support me for my looks, and who now put up with the fact that I tongue click and fucking say fuck after every fucking word. Because they see through that and they see the person that I am. That's a Republican. The Republicans will look past things if you just simply explain to them and talk to them. Of course, at first they may be shocked, they may be like, whoa. But understand people, talk to them. Democrats, when you guys don't understand me or anything, and I try to have a civil conversation with you, it's not that way at all. It's the opposite. You end it with, wait for a bullet in your head, motherfucking faggot. That's the difference between the parties. I've never felt safer than I feel with the Republican Party. I've never felt safer. I've never felt more love. I've never felt more togetherness. I've never felt like so many people are for America than the way I feel with the Republican Party. But I've also always with the Democratic Party, I thought I felt safe. And you probably think you feel safe too. And I'm not hating on you for that. But that safety was false for me. I thought it was safe until I fucking felt like what it was like to be a Republican. That's real safety. Behind the Democratic Party, I was always worried about what other people thought. I was always worried about why people were judging me. I was always um, fucking on, ready to go and ready to fucking fight anybody who wants to say gay is wrong. I was ready to fucking fight everybody because I was told that everybody who's not gay thinks gay is wrong. I was told that everybody hates women. Men are evil. Evil white men. This is false. I'm a white man. My best friend's a white man. My boyfriend's a white man. My roommate's a white man. I know a lot of white men who are good people, who are amazing people. This is not the case at all. There's bad in every race. There's bad in every sex. There's bad in every culture. Welcome to the world. Wake up. 
But to blame a whole race is racism. To blame a whole sexuality is sexism. To blame a whole culture is just fucking wrong, you guys. This is called hate. The hate that the Democratic Party says they fight against is the hate that they bring on. The hate that they use as excuses. The hate that they do to separate us more. They invent things. If you, if they, you feel like you've been separated to the core, no, but still invent them. They'll come up with pansexual, skillless sexual, but they will throw some shit out there. They will make some shit up to make sure you feel... They know that they will separate you even more. When somebody used to come for gay people, me and all my boys, we were all gay. It was just, you come for gay people, you can come for all of us, bitch. But now it's different. Because now I'm a femme, what does it call it? They call it, um, I'm a cis, femme, male, gay male. And then now my, my boyfriend is a, is a, um, what do they call the other one? I'm um, not cis. Yeah, it is cis. He's a cis, white masculine male so now he's different now we have our own different groups and our own clubs and our own facebook groups and shit now we're separated so now when people come for me i don't have them stand behind my back anymore because now they're a different group bitch that's what separations are doing when before you come for gays you came for all of us because lgbt was a blanket statement the rainbow flag doesn't need it at black and brown bitch rainbow nobody's really red and fucking yellow and blue come on now think real the rainbow flag was a blanket it means everybody can be different and still coexist the Democratic Party has brainwashed people into thinking it's okay to th do things like add black and brown. Why? Because they're victims. No, they're not. No, they're not. Since gay marriage, we should be celebrating in the streets, not protesting. Do you know why? Because for the first time ever in this whole entire country, we are 100% equal opportunity for women, gays, blacks, Mexicans, whites, every motherfucking buddy that's the closest to equality we've ever been. I'm so lucky and grateful to be alive during this time today. Because I live in a place where I can look at any human being walking past me who's over the age of 18 years old and know that we all have equal opportunity at this moment, whether you're poor, rich, it doesn't matter. The only thing holding us back now from complete equal opportunity is things like affirmative action, mm -hmm. things like that California's doing where they're saying that there has to be a certain number of women in a certain class or a certain job because if, there, if there's a man who's been working their ass up to get this position or to get into this class or this school and they make barely below that line and there's somebody who's darker counterparts, somebody who's black or a woman who has lesser grades than them, didn't work as hard, gets in that spot because they're simply a white man, that's wrong. I don't care if you say white, black, replace the word white with black and tell me how racist that sounds. That sounds racist as fuck, doesn't it? Because it is. White men matter on this planet just as much as any motherfucking buddy else, but not more. Black men matter just as much on this fucking earth, but not more than anybody else. The Democratic Party has brainwashed you all into believing that in order to uprise, you must put down others before you. But that's false. That's false. To uprise, we uprise together. We bring each other up. How is other groups going to bring up another group if we're all down? Bring each other up. Support each other. Don't put down somebody else to feel bigger. Because as we know, when you focus on somebody else, it's struggle and you bring them down. Did you move at all? You look bigger now, but you didn't move at all, bitch. You still stayed right here. When you brought them from here to here, you still stayed right fucking here. Just like the whole eight years of Obama, we stayed in one position. We didn't move at all. Stay stagnant. Just like the fucking job increasing when Obama, his last three years of presidency. The stagnant. I'm sick of stagnant water. I don't like mosquitoes. I don't like West Nile, bitch. I fucking have bug repellent. I don't do this shit. Let's stop being stagnant and let's continue to keep moving, please. I'm 30 years old in two days, bitches. I want to live during a time when I can say we're all fucking equal. I want to have a child during a time where I can be a gay man with a fucking daughter and tell her you can be president of the United States and you don't need a man to do so. I want to be alive during this time. Please make it happen. Let's do it together. So again, Midterms are coming up, guys, tomorrow. If, you're not, if you have not early voted, or if you got your early votes sitting at home and you forgot to take it to the mail, it's okay. You can always drop it off at any polling place tomorrow. Polling places will be open tomorrow until 8 o'clock p.m. I urge you guys all to go to the polling places. Please, please, please. And I, vote, I urge you guys to vote red. And I've always been one to say, if you don't know about the issue, just don't vote on the issue at all. And I'm going to continue to say that because that's the right thing to do. Don't vote on something you don't know about just because it's your favorite color or your favorite team or because you're Democrat or because you're Republican. And do not think because you are gay, black, Mexican, a, a 
a um, legal citizen from another country or because you are simply just different than everybody else. Do not think that that means you have to be a Democrat. Do not let them fool you because that's what they want you to believe. And I don't know about you, but any authority figure that I look up to, when I find out they lied to me, that makes me a little angry. It makes me not trust them a little bit. So that's not who I'm going to vote for. When you find out that they didn't care about all those women arrested behind the Kavanaugh hearing, but they care about women, how does that make you feel? Do you feel like this is the party you should trust? With your money, your freedom? I'm not saying vote red. I'm saying do not vote blue. Please. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. There's um, 40 of you guys so watching. Thank you guys so much for keeping it going. I know you guys are cycling through right now. Thank you. Uh, again, the comment section has been blowing up. Thank you guys so much. I will go through and read the comments. You guys know I always try to do that. And my birthday is the seventh. Give me a birthday present and keep it red. But anyways, so um, tomorrow's actually my birthday party. It's actually crazy. Let's get into some, I'm gonna get into some personals real quick. My birthday party's gonna be unicorn themed. Naturally, bitch. Naturally, 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 naturally. Why? Because I'm a rarity, bitch. I'm like a fucking unicorn. I came out of no motherfucking wear. I'm rarely seen. I'm beautiful as fuck. And yes, I am white. Not like all unicorns are white. I have a black one up there. Not hating, just saying. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I make. In case you guys haven't realized it already, I'm not serious when it comes to race baiting and stuff like that. I do make fun of a lot of things. I think that comedians are awesome. I think to um, demonize every single joke in the world is bad to do. I think it's really stupid when people do that. I think we all need to lighten the fuck up a little bit, love life, and it's okay to laugh at some fucking jokes, bitch. When people crack racist jokes, I laugh. When people ca crack gay jokes, I laugh. When people crack ro fucking white Christian jokes, I laugh, motherfucker, because jokes are funny. Damn. Can y'all stop being so fucking sensitive? Shit. Political correctness is fucking stupid. I may say fuck every other word, but instead of focusing on the fuck word, how about you focus on the words that I'm actually saying and the meaning I'm trying to get out there? Because don't tell me, you cuss too much. You should probably stop doing that so more people will listen. I don't give a fuck. My goal is not to get a bigger number of listeners. My goal is to get my message out there to at least one person in the fucking planet. Because if it gets to one person, my job here is done. It looks like it got to a lot, so... Put your panties back on and stop being little horses with political correctness, okay? And that's not a woman attack. Bitch. I guess I said, I said bitch like woman, not bitch like friend, okay? Anyways, so um, love you guys so much and I really appreciate the support I've been getting and don't worry, I know I said it in the last video, but the merch is coming soon. I'm doing merch, guys. I'm doing some fucking merch. I've been seeing a lot of people want shirts and hoodies. Let me, let me, that, I'm gonna just me something real quick, okay? So when I was just doing hair really big and I was doing big things with hair um, when I first got on Facebook like years ago and stuff, and I first started my first merch was with Master, uh, Master Plan Clothing. I came out with shirts and stuff back in the day and people were buying them and shit. It was crazy. I used to be like, what do you guys want to see? Underwear? Do you guys want to see? La, 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 la. I used to say a bunch of crazy ass things, right? And I used to be like, do you guys want fucking G-strings with my name on it? Uh? People would say, yeah, we want all this crazy stuff. I know I'm Republican now because now when I got my last video, I said, I'm going to be doing merch. What do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see things on underwear? Do you guys want um, phone cases? Do you guys want hoodies? Do you guys want shirts? Everybody on here was like, we like shirts and hoodies. We, we could do some hoodies and some shirts, some t-shirts. We like t-shirts. T-shirts. I was like, damn, bitch, you know I'm Republican now, bitch. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh. We're not as crazy as you, you know? Which is totally cool, which is awesome because in the Republican Party, I realized I stand out even more. I've always stood out and I've always been different than all my other people. But like, Republican Party, cute. I like that. But you guys are some fucking honest, good motherfuckers. And I bet most of you guys have kids. Because <laughs> before, I was like, do you guys want some G-strings, some underwear with hair by Christopher Drew on it? People were like, yeah, send it to me. Mm. Nowadays, they're like, we can do some t-shirts. I was like, damn, bitch, I am conservative now, ain't I? Like, shit, I've entered the conservative world. Hey. Anyways, guys, so um, thank you guys so much for the support and thank you for supporting my bad fucking mouth. I'm going to get a cuss jar. I swear, 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 swear. I'm going to do that. I need to do that, actually. Yeah, I want to get a swear jar. I really do. And maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll get a swear jar, and every time somebody donates a quarter to it, every time they catch me swearing, I'll match that. But I'm only going to match it if people donate. And y'all stop cussing. Do you know why? And I'll, don and I'll donate all that money to a charity. Hmm. That's a good idea. I'm going to run through some ideas and, about that. But um, definitely I want a swear jar, I think. And you know how I'm going to stop cussing? Because, bitch, I want to pay my rent. 
So um, I'm gonna have to. So I think I might do that. Anyways, guys, but thank you guys so much for everything, and I love you guys. But like I just sounds said, the merch is coming soon, so be prepared for that. I'm gonna have some really funny sayings on some shirts. If you guys have any ideas um, or any quotes that you heard me say before that I forgot because I talk so fucking fast, then go ahead and leave in the comment section below what you guys want to see on my merch, and I will go ahead and consider it. I'm gonna be having sayings like, um, I don't have political opinions, I have political common sense. I'm gonna have sayings like adorable, deplorable with a fucking American unicorn, of course. Duh. Duh, bitch. That's like a no-brainer. But I'm gonna have a really cool thing. Speaking of which, Connie, I don't know if you're watching Connie. Shout out to Connie. Connie gave me that name when I first started doing my videos, and now that I've blown up and you guys all watch me, thank you, Connie. I am the adorable, deplorable. And I love it so much. But um, yeah, so let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see any different sayings or things on my shirts that you guys have heard me say, and I'm gonna do some really fucking cool things. Um, maybe I'll make a shirt that says I need a swear jar. Boat red. Anyways, so thank you guys, and tomorrow, please, please, please vote red. Or just don't vote blue. I support differences, but I don't support hate. So I don't support Democrats. I support Democratic people, not Democratic leaders, or Democratic votes. But make sure you guys get in tomorrow, please. If you guys are in Orange County, I did have a list here that I'm gonna go ahead and leave in the um, comment section as soon as I'm done with this video. But I wanted you guys to know in Orange County where to go if you guys want to vote. Um, let's see, there's a place in Huntington Beach, there's a place in Santa Ana, there's places all over the place for you guys to go to. Here they are. There's Irvine Civic Center, Mission Viejo City Hall, Huntington Beach Five Point Plaza, the Capistrano Collection, Anaheim City Hall, Costa Mesa, Costa Mesa Senior Center, and Fullerton Community Center. I will, again, I will be posting those in the comment section below. If you guys are in Orange County, those are your polling places. Get out and vote tomorrow. Get out and vote. And in fact, I'm gonna get on tomorrow. In my unicorn gear, because tomorrow's my unicorn party. I'm going to get on here and say, did you motherfuckers go vote yet? I'm going to be watching all of you. Go vote. But I love you guys so much. Bye. It's my birthday. I'm turning 30. Ah, ah, help. <laughs>